The Elephant and the Ant One day, Goo Goo saw a group of cranes looking at the grasshopper and making fun of it for how tiny and feeble it was. Goo Goo went up to them and asked them what they were up to. The cranes told Goo Goo how small and fragile the grasshopper looked in comparison to themselves and thus they were ridiculing him. Goo Goo told the cranes that they may not have heard the story of the elephant and the ant, which is why they are teasing the poor little grasshopper. This raised their curiosity levels and they persuaded Goo Goo to elaborate on what it was saying. Goo Goo began to tell them about a particular elephant that lived in the forest which was extremely proud about its structure. It used to think no end of its size and strength due to which it would always go around troubling all other animals in the forest. There were a family of ants who were living close to where the elephant lived and they were told by their parents not to go near the elephant as it would trouble them. All the ants obeyed what their parents said and would ensure to avoid the elephant's path every time they went out. One morning, as they set out to work, the mean elephant threw water on them. The youngest ant was very bold and turned around to ask what the elephant's problem and why it always kept troubling everyone in the forest. The youngest ant was very bold and it turned around to ask what was the elephant's problem and why it always kept troubling everyone in the forest. No one had the guts to speak to the elephant like that so far and it was quite irritated that this small little ant was bold enough to question it. The elephant asked the ant to shut up and threatened to kill it if it spoke even another word more. The little ant had no choice and so kept quiet and went on its way. But it thought about how to teach a lesson to the elephant all night and woke up early next morning. Even as the elephant was snoring away to glory, it approached the elephant and ensuring it was fast asleep, slid into its trunk. Once it was inside, it started biting the elephant. The elephant woke up quite irritated and did everything it could but could not get the ant to come out of its trunk. It begged the ant to stop biting him and the ant told the elephant that it is exactly how others feel when the elephant hurts them. The elephant apologized for its mistake and agreed to never repeat it again. On hearing this, the cranes understood that they should never underestimate anyone based on their appearance. Goo Goo feels good on having made the cranes understood their mistake.